Okay, so I'm not going to be talking about too much. Obviously, there's the usual stuff right here, timestamps and pictures and whatnot. Uh, if there's anything in particular you guys want me to talk about in the future, just leave a note in the comments or whatever. Okay, so first things first, I do need to talk to you guys about HTC's Cyber Monday deal, where you'll be able to get headsets starting as low as $350. These are the certified pre-owned base Vive headsets. They'll come with controllers, base stations, and the, the OG Vive headset. And those origin those typically retail at four hundred dollars, so you're saving you're saving fifty dollars off of that. So three fifty as opposed to four hundred. Blah blah blah. And then the next one up is going to be the Pro Starter Kit. That one is going to be eight hundred dollars for a Vive Pro, your controllers, and the base stations. Everything you need, along with a twelve month Vive Port Infinity membership. So you'll be able to play whatever game right out of the box as, as soon, soon as you, you set up your, your VR tracking, tracking system. system. And, and then, then of course, if you, you feel like going, going for the full kit, that one is going, going to be capable of 23 by 23 feet room scale as opposed to the 11 and a half by 11 and a half that the starter kit is capable of. And, and the full, full is going to run you $1,100. But I don't know about you, I do not have that much money just sitting around. Okay, so the only other thing that's really worth talking about besides the whole consoles are amazing thing is that Facebook has recently purchased Beat Games, the developer behind Beat Saber. As a result of this recent purchase, there are two major factors that may come into place in the future. The first is the removal of custom songs. Existing songs that have already been mapped and added or modded into your game likely won't go away. However, uh, they may end up patching it in the future where you will not be able to create any custom songs based on existing music tracks that you have because of copyright concerns. Either that, or they may end up uh, releasing all of those as individual, uh, individual custom tracks for, I, I don't know what the going rate would be, like $1.50 or $1.99 or something. And you would have to you'd have to pay that so they would still be able to pass along royalties to whoever wrote the track or whatever. And then the other, the other concern, which is relatively minor comparison, is Disney's concerns over the word Saber. Since Disney does not really like people using their intellectual property. Lightsaber versus lightsaber, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully, uh, things actually turn out well and all that. As this, this major purchase shows that Facebook is in fact serious about investing in virtual reality in the long term. And with such a large company at the helm, it's likely that we can expect... Uh, some serious growth out of virtual reality from a niche service to more of a mainstream thing. But that remains to be seen at this point.